Look at this cat. She's meowing at me. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. It's Kelly here, and I'm with Blue Gabe here in Venice, Louisiana. I'm at the Fish Terminator Lodge. It's a beautiful lodge here in Venice. And we're about to go take our Pro Drive boat that we picked up in Louisiana out to catch some redfish. Let me show you this lodge real quick. Super, super cool. I don't know if anyone's sleeping, so I'm just gonna stay quiet. Let me show you guys. We got the kitchen and we got all these cool fish mounds up here. We're going for those tomorrow. We're gonna try to spearfish them off the rigs. That's a massive trout. I'm making eggs right now because I need some hard boiled eggs in my life. Check out this alligator gar. You guys remember when Blue Gabe and I caught these massive alligator gar in Texas? They're all over Louisiana too. But today we're targeting these redfish right here. Maybe not this big, however, the month of October is the time of year to catch these big bull reds. So fingers crossed, you never know. We're gonna go hit this certain spot that we know out there and try to catch some redfish. But right now I gotta get going, I gotta finish my eggs. We're gonna be late, we're already probably a little late, but I'll see you guys out on the water. Guys, look at all of this tackle we just got from the store. We have no idea what we're doing, but we're out here winging it. We're gonna try to catch some redfish. We're out here in the back country, right off Venice Marina. We have no clue where to fish, but we're gonna use our knowledge of what we know about fishing and try to catch some fish. That's right. That's right. We're rigging up rods right now. Apparently, these popping corks were key last time Gabe was here when he fished for redfish. So hopefully they'll work again today. The last time I was here, we had two different types of popping corks and we only had a few of these kind that we have here. And um, let me turn that on by break. We lost the two that we had and could not catch any more fish with the other ones. For some reason, I don't know if it was the rubber on here or what. A popping cork, in case you're wondering, goes tick toom and it sort of mimics a fish eating on the surface and then you have your bait here so when that fish comes looking and investigating he finds him a nice little shrimp and then right in the corner of his mouth he goes what color jig head do you want uh pink see last time i was here fishing for redfish we used these silver and gold spoons i couldn't find any at the tackle store so we're going with the popping cork method this time you got him out in the open now. All right. That fish, I'm looking down he rigging barely... my stuff and doof. <laughs> he ba he, it was such a weird hit. How am I supposed to land a fish in this? <laughs> he like, he didn't even hit it hard. He, I literally just saw the bobber go boop. Guess what though? Go under so slightly. We have no landing net. We are so unprepared. Grab the tail. We got this. Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 don't go in there. Oh, it's a big one. All right, now you got him plenty of weight. Don't horse him too much at this point. <laughs> Definitely a redfish with that huge head shake. Oh, yeah. I'm going to do my best, but don't mind the mess. <laughs> I'm going to do my best, but don't mind the mess. Here he comes. He's right here. This is the Pro Drive's first redfish. First redfish, Venice, Louisiana. We gotta keep him out of this trolling motor because I can't pick yes. it up because of the lights. I'm 
so excited. Oh my god. That oh, it's a catfish. Stop. <laughs> That's not a catfish. Oh, this is a good one. Look at it. Look at him. I think I might try to go on the other side of the boat. So the trolling motor is not. Come on. Let's go this way. Oh my god, this is such a good fish. I tell you what, the the redfish in Louisiana are so pretty. The colors are so much more vibrant than the ones in Florida. Yeah. Keep him out from under that trolling motor. Oh, he's a good one. You hear him grunting? Yep. Y'all wonder about these angles? Watch this. Nope, hold on. You're going to hold the rod. Or I'll hold the rod and you land him. I was going to grab him. With Here. Oh, he's grunting. Look at her. Him or her? I don't know. I can't tell, but I'm going to say her just because I want to. It's 2020. That grunting, though. Look, you can hear. You can see. That's why they call him Red Drum. That was the perfect hook set, too. Beautiful, beautiful size and color redfish. Look at her spot. She's got two on the other side. All right, guys, so we are allowed to keep one trophy size, and we're going to go ahead and cook him up for dinner. I'm super excited to have redfish. It's been a very long time since I've ate redfish. So right now, since there's no sharks in these waters, we went ahead and put our rope to her mouth here, and we're going to go ahead and bleed her out. That way the meat tastes a little better and you don't have you're not dealing with a big bloodline when you're cooking fish all right so you're just gonna pop that vein down there and that's that you're just gonna bleed her out in the water okay so we've been here for maybe six minutes I've casted out three lines maybe hooked up to this nice monster redfish Gabe's <laughs> Gabe wasn't even rigged up yet and I hooked up so now Gabe's gonna catch a few redfish and we're gonna try to put some more in the box. And some releases too. All right, you guys, my life is complete. We're in here just scouting around, not even filming. And we find some real shallow, clear water, but it's super muddy. I'm like, I bet I can sight cast one of these. That just happened. Not the biggest, but I watched him turn and go dunk. I didn't even say anything to Kelly. I just watched it. I didn't want to move. This one's going home with me for dinner. I don't want to bleed him or anything right now because I've seen several more. That was awesome. That was really cool. I just, huh, one time. One time for the boys. Good thing we got this size cooler and not a smaller one. Put the rest on top. Just set the bag on. Oh, apple teeth. Anything what you I got? got? I got me another sandwich. This one's a good, it's not massive, but I think it's just what we're looking for. A nice smaller one. Let's see. Look at him. How come yours are so active? Mine are crazy active. <laughs> Look at that. I think they gotta be, what's the slot size? 16 to 27? Yeah, I just looked on fish rules. No, 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 calm One down. One trophy. Calm down. I don't think this is 16. There we go. This, oh, look at that blue tail. That is my absolutely favorite thing about the Louisiana redfish. I don't see a lot of blue tails in Florida, but I don't really catch redfish in Florida that much. We're gonna go ahead and release this little guy. We'll see you when you get bigger. You were Alright, my turn much. again. No, 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 no. <laughs> there he goes. Alright, on to the next one. There's hair on the lens. <laughs> Wonder where that came from. Not me. <laughs> The 
just have to relax after you catch Time one. to let old blue gobby get up here. Make a perfect cast. <laughs> here, you guys wonder what a true gentleman is? Here you go. <laughs> here you go. Now pop it out to the right to keep it out of the bushes. I'm going to cast over here. Did you give me the spot that there was no fish? I feel like they're making their way that way for some reason. But then again, I just saw something that way. Got him. Uh oh. Wait. Uh oh. What happened? It was a gar. It was a little gar. It's always a gar when they get away, folks. Yeah, it is. There was a gar about this big messing with my bait about two minutes ago and I hooked them for a second but their mouths are so hard he popped right off. That was a gar that just had mine. Oh yeah now Gabe has a gar. He's eating it on the surface. <laughs> See the gar just took my bait right off the hook. I'm like I got something. She's like you don't have anything because my bait was over there in the weeds and you've all been there with you love her, you're like, I don't even care. <laughs> so I go to reel it in, I'm like, I actually have something. She's like, no, you don't. Look what I got. What are the odds of this? That little joker will hurt you. And I don't want to set him on the deck because he's slippery. What? Where are those Danko pliers you bought? Um, right here. When we were, my octopus show we were in south carolina and if you go back and watch that video we pulled up to the boat ramp we were ready to go home and there was a lady there bawling crying here comes the ambulance a guy and his family he got stuck and was in so much pain he went into shock and we ended up having to take that lady to get the truck a long ways away because they just came to the nearest boat ramp and that wasn't where their truck was a little stingray like this can hurt you really bad and he did it by trying to get the hook out Luckily, I didn't get stuck though. Let's go catch a big old red. Where's he at? I'm trying to work him out. He came out and then he jolted right back in. Oh, come on. Oh, he is pissed. There he is, he's out. Oh. It's a nice one. You're right, every redfish I've caught have like come to the surface, show themselves, nice and active. Look at her right there, another nice one. Come on, pretty girl. Look at her. Like a little shark. Feisty. Over to the right. Let me tell you, for Gabe and I just to come out here, really no guide. I mean, Gabe got a couple like insights, just to kind of a general area of where to fish for them. We came out here, went to a tackle shop, just got a bunch of tackle, got some live shrimp, some popping corks, and just came out here and started fishing these edges of these cattails. We found some nice redfish for out here, for not even being a local out here. All right, let's release this pretty girl. No, no, no. <laughs> you 
felt like giving her a hug before you turned loose? I felt like an all slimy. <laughs> this is the only jacket I have. Gone. Got some nice fresh Did you uh did you catch that branch over there, Gabe? Yeah. <laughs> My popping cork's still over there. This is our 16 incher. Keep pulled. First he pulled really hard like a big redfish. So our bait cooler here has a 12 inch marker on it. So we went ahead and took a piece of line, measured 12 inches and then an extra four to make 16 inches. We made two marks on our cooler here and this fish is exactly 16 inches, which is the minimum for redfish here in Louisiana. So he's going to go in the box. All right guys, so we're heading back in from a day of red fishing. We had a really successful day for coming out here and not having a clue of what we were doing. <clears throat> we caught some beautiful red fish. Right now we're pulling up to Venice Marina. It's one of the main marinas here in world famous Venice, Louisiana. It has the, probably the one of the world's best fishing. We catch massive yellowfin tuna, some of the biggest red fish here, and many other species out on the oil rigs offshore. We were going to go triple tail spear fishing tomorrow, however the weather's just not looking so hot. Typical. <laughs> so that just leaves us to come back and make another video and just have another awesome trip here. So, but right now, we're going to go head to another marina and try to catch some big blue catfish. Fingers crossed, so we'll see you there. Alright guys, it is the next morning here at the Fish Intimidator Lodge here in Venice, Louisiana. Gabe and I had so much fun blue catfishing last night right off Cypress Marina, right off the fillet tables. Those catfish are spoiled, let me tell you. They get prime yellowfin tuna and they're picky. So they want that fresh, fresh carcass of yellowfin tuna when you catch them. Right now, we gotta get on the road. Whew. Because in two days, Gabe and I are packing up to go to Washington and then drive to Idaho. So that's going to be an epic adventure. Stay tuned for those videos as well. And right now, of course, it's a beautiful morning, the day we're leaving, but we got to get on the road. So I'll see you guys on the next video.